Hi, this is Emily with Blogaholic Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to install or add links to your navigation menu on Blogger. I have a lot of people who ask me how to display only specific posts on a page. So let's say, for example, you write a lot of posts about recipes and you want to add recipes to your navigation menu. And when you click on recipes, you only want your recipe posts to show up. So if that's something that you're looking to do, that's what I'm going to show you. So go ahead and head over to your Blogger dashboard and then you're going to choose the template that you want to edit and from your drop down you're going to go to layout. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is add the pages gadget if you don't already have it. If you already have it, you don't need to worry about this part, but if not, click add a gadget and you're going to go down to pages and add that gadget. You don't need to worry about any of this right now. Just click save and we'll come back to it later. And then click save arrangement. And then we're going to go over to posts. You might already have posts that you want added to this to come up on the page and that's okay. You can go ahead and apply what I'm going to show you later. But for now, let's just click new post. And for this example, let's say I write a lot about projects that I do. So projects, all my project posts are what I'm going to want to show up. So for this, I will just do project one. And then you don't need to write the post right now. You could come back to it. And a lot of people, what they think is happening when you click on a label in the navigation menu when you click on a link in the navigation menu you think that it's a page and somehow all of these posts got put onto the page but it's actually not that difficult what is actually happening is you're grouping all of your posts together by a category and then it's just pulling up the archive of that category so Categories on Blogger are called labels. So you're going to use your labels over here in the right hand side to categorize your posts together. Okay, so all of your posts that you want to be in a specific category, you're going to give them the same label. So for this one, I'm going to do projects. Now, it's really important that you always name it the same. So you wouldn't want to use a capital P or just project without the S because it's going to pull up a whole different set of posts. The good thing is once you do one label, it will always show up down here underneath as one that you've already used. So you can go ahead and just re-choose it. You don't need to worry about the spelling and all of that. So like these are uh, previous labels that I've used. So let's add projects and then we're going to click publish. And then really quick, let's go to view blog and see that that post is there. So that's from one I did earlier, but okay. So let's see now let's do another post and do the same thing. So we'll do project two and then over under labels, you're going to choose, see it's already there since we already used it once we're going to use projects. And then, and then publish this post and then do view blog and you will see that I have project one and project two as well as all of my other posts right now. So now we need this to show up in the navigation menu. So to do that underneath your post you will see labels and then the label that you used. So if you don't see labels, I can show you at the end of this tutorial how to add that. But for now, let's just click on the label, if you have it. And then up in your web address bar, you want to grab the URL. So copy it. And then go back over to your dashboard. And then go to Layout. And then you're going to go Edit under Pages and you're going to click on this blue link that says add link page. Now you're going to give it a title. This is the title that will show up in your navigation menu. So whatever word that you want to show up in your navigation menu is what you're going to add here. So I'm going to do projects 
and then I'm going to paste that URL right here and then I'm going to do save link and save again save arrangement and then view blog and then now you'll see that in our navigation menu we have projects so right now I'm on my home page it has all my recent posts but when I click on projects only my posts about projects, the two that we just made, are going to show up. So that is how you do that. I'll run through it again, but first let me show you really quick how to add a static page. So maybe an About Me page or something that you don't want to show as a post. Just head back over to your dashboard and then over on the left choose Pages. And then you can click New Page or Create New Page, either one. And then you just give it a title. So we'll do this one about me and then publish it and then now if you go to view blog you will see that about me is there it automatically puts your pages there but you might not want them there so then just go back to dashboard and then go back to layout go to pages and here is where you can choose which pages you want to show. So right now they're both checked because it automatically will put it there for you. And you can uncheck it so that it doesn't automatically put it, however you want to do it. So this, you can also rearrange the way, the order that they display in your navigation menu. Okay, so that is how you add a static page. Now, I'm going to run through one more time how to add the labels. Um, but if you think you got it, then you don't need to stick around. But if not, let's just do it really quick one more time. So let's add a new post. And let's say this time we'll do recipes. Um, so we'll do recipe one. Coming soon. And I'm going to add my label. Again, this is the first time I'm making it, so I want to make sure it's how I want it to be. So recipes, done, and publish. And then a new post again. We'll do recipe two. Recipe two. And go to my label. Since we already did it once, it's going to be here right here. Just click it and click done. Now you can use more than one label. You don't only have to use recipes. So if you wanted, to, if it was a recipe and it was dessert and chocolate, whatever you want to label it as, you can give it as many labels as you want and this will still work. So let's see, I'm going to choose projects also so you can see. Okay, so publish and then view. So now what would happen if you gave it more than one label is when I click projects the recipe, the project, and the project show up. Okay, So it doesn't matter how many labels you give it. Just know that whatever label you attach it to is what's going to show up on the page. So for recipes, let's just go back home and click recipes. And then again grab that URL up in the address bar, copy it, head back over to your dashboard, click on layout and click on edit on the pages gadget and then scroll down to that blue link add link page we're going to title it recipes enter that and save link now uh, click save and save arrangement and view blog People also ask, do you need to do this every time? Absolutely not. Once you enter a label once, and once you add it to your navigation menu, you never have to do it again. So that's why it's so nice, and it's so easy. Once it's added, you're all set. You already set it up. All you have to remember to do is add that label whenever you write a post. That's all you have to remember to do. So now you should be all set. You have your links in your navigation menu. and. Uh, really quick, if you don't have labels, I'm going to show you how to add that really quick. Just click on that little pencil that's by your post. No. Go back. Sorry. I don't use this very often. But Oh, okay. So on your layout page, this is where you do it. You go to layout and then you see blog post section and you're going to click edit. And then down here, see it has labels. Just make sure that that is ticked.
So you have a check mark in there and then your labels will show. And then click Save and Save Arrangement. And then you're all set. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for stopping by.